Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 41 at the end of September um, in 2014. Things are rolling right along here. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't able to make this time slot. Getting right into it, the agenda is pretty much like the agenda it's been for the last little while. We're going to do triage. Uh, we'll do the open discussion on progress if anybody wants to, and then we'll do questions and other things that come up. Um, and so, since there's spots for people to discuss things, we'll just keep going into triage. You ready, Bob? I'm ready to describe. All right, all right. We actually have a fair number of books in the last little bit, but I think more and more returning to Wix 4.0 stuff, um, or whatever. So. Uh, starting at the bottom, as we are... Uh-oh, I've lost my mouse again. All right, here we go. Got it. Um, MSI Property Group, Property Group Ref, and MSI Property Ref. I don't know about MSI Property Ref, but Property yeah, that's, Group Ref. That's I mean, but... Yeah, it'd be a bit overkill. But we've definitely descri uh, have discussed the MSI Property Group in the past. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that'd be a interesting feature. Uh, it would be interesting to try to implement. I don't know how hard it would be. Uh, but yeah, I think that is a completely reasonable feature request. Yeah? Okay. Uh, and 4x is good until someone wants to go and, and do it. Works uh, for me. Install privileges and install scope can specify contradicting values. Install contract in which MSI is marked to be USA UAC compliant. Well, not that. Oh, so if it's a per machine and install scope, I expect when both attributes are specified, an error should be reported. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised there's not an ICE that checks that kind of thing already, but it's probably based off of all users, and of course the ICEs are like, well, you could set the all users from the command line and change it, so which is not a good design. Anyway, um, yeah, we're not going to do that in 3.8. Um, no. I'm fine with it in 3x. If you can actually you know, get in a bad state and there's no ice, yeah, that, that you seems know. reasonable. Let's check. Patch all pat against wixtoolset.org, really? Against the website? Oh. Patch installation, all patch methods in this is throwing a 1610 exception. Yeah, I, I, I tested this out. I, I, don't, I couldn't repro the problem. 1610 uh, is... It, it's an error saying bad configuration, error bad configuration. Which means their patches could be goofed up. Right, right. It's... So the MSI API underneath the all patches is, is returning 1610. Yep. So they need to go figure out why that's true. Yep. All right. So this is not our bug. It's whatever is wrong with MSI and Noom patches thing. Or their their machine. Well, which will end up being probably the same thing. Yeah, true. All right. Here we go back. I keep wanting to click on other things, and I have it. Um, Wix 4.0 isn't getting signed. Um, yes, I've known this, but yes, and... Fire Giant guys, open bug four five three six, which is the real root of this issue. Um, so, yeah, we can give that bug to them because I remember this got broken when they checked in to move the common targets. Remember that yeah, was that makes sense. And and yes, and I've basically told everybody to stay out of this stuff until I fix my stuff at the binder. Um, it has something to do, I think, with the intermediate files, the way we're doing intermediate files now, which is more efficient, but uh, anyway, the com anyway, common targets and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, this bug will get fixed. Actually, you know what? Don't give that to fire. Give that to me, because I actually just have to turn the configuration back on on the uh, build server. Um, oh, for signing? Yeah, because I, I just disabled it because it was, like, failing. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, there's a bug here. And then I obviously forgot to open a bug and give it to those guys, which is this right here. Yes, signing targets are broken. Did they say why? Yeah, the signing targets are broken. So. so, yeah. So go ahead and give me 
four five three five, and I think we can give that to the fire giant guys that untriaged. Uh, cool. Four five three six because yeah they're gonna go fix that after I tell people they can go and make changes to the binder again. <laughs> um. <laughs> Basically, it's turned into yeah. Don't come in here because it's changing, and you'll just you'll have a mess. Um, and I won't accept your pull request if you try to send one in between all of the other pull requests that I'm doing at the binder. <laughs> it just won't be a good time. Um, moving on then, because we're done with triage. Unless someone want to bring up another bug, which I hope they don't, because I don't have mouse cursor in there. No, 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 no. All right, cool. Um, I don't think this has changed. None of those bugs were 3.9 bugs. Um, we haven't seen much activity on the 3.10 front. So I think both of those before or on Halloween and after Halloween statements still stand for 3.9 and 3.10. Um, Wix 4 features are starting. Uh, I saw Sean sent around his um, ball util, util converted into um, managed code. Um, thing which is awesome. Uh, so if there are other things to get going, get get to those. Get to those. And I don't know. We still have a question mark on the March 2015. But as we get farther along into the the features and stuff like that, I guess we'll discuss what that really means. Yeah, I guess I'm 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 curious. I mean, at a certain point, it boils down to us just saying, okay, here's the 40 feature set, and then we ship it as soon as it's stable, right? Yes. Uh, well, and it's, we will, yeah, it's, <laughs> yes, and because we haven't seen much 4.0 activity, it's been difficult to say these are going to be the features, um, although we are starting to see that activity, so that makes me think that we will start having that discussion a little bit. So it's, it's kind of like the, the last two bullet points are kind of, you know, we need to do the first one before we do the second one kind of thing. And at some point we're going to say, cool, yeah, if your feature's not in, if you've not started or otherwise discussed your feature by this point, um, you're not going to make it because we're shooting for 4.0 to really be released in whatever date we pick. That works. Um, but I, you know, those, I mean, unless people disagree, those seem like re reasonable things. Like, well, get your 4.0 features now, and March 2015 seems reasonable-ish. And, and also, I guess, at a certain level, I'm not pushing 4.0 until 3.9 is out, um, yeah. personally, because yeah. I don't want to distract people from pulling the 3.9 builds and kind of thinking that that's the right thing to be doing, because for the masses, I think 3.9 is the right thing for them to be doing. Sure. Um, and after that, then, after they've all got, oh, cool, 3.9 is out, I should move to that, because that's not a breaking change, and I should just, you know, take that, and it's, oh, all goodness, yay. And then we need to start pushing 4.0 as the, all right, now you guys, you know, 3.9 is awesome. Yeah, we're probably going to do this 3.10 thing, but it's not going to be very exciting. You know, we probably won't talk a lot about it a lot, right? We'll, we'll, we'll save it for the bugs that really need to get fixed or the people that really want to fix bugs. Um, and instead, we're going to be talking about 4.0 all the time and getting people excited about trying out 4.0. So don't detract from 3.9. Don't advertise 310 heavily and instead focus advertising on 40. So um put all of the, was it uh the most limited resource in this day and age is attention so we're going to focus the attention on 39 and then 40. Maybe that's the way to say it. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that idea. Um, right. I think I just found a great title for a blog post. <laughs> um the question is can I write that blog post before 39 is released? Anyway. Five weeks. Five weeks? Oh, man, that's forever. It's not, but it is. Um, so no discussion from the people gallery. Yeah, that's what we should call it, the people gallery. I said the peanut gallery because they're certainly not peanuts, although they all do look like little pawns because nobody can put their picture in because they're all guests. Um, pawns or prawns? Oh, pawns, pawns, I see. Pawns, you know, the little, the little MSN messenger icon. Yeah. Um, all right, good. John is John is going to come out here and give me a plus one or a yes or a things. 
Oh, John is asking for an assignment agreement. I thought we had an example of one of those on the Wix toolset. Dot org. Um, development. Governance document. Oh, man. I thought we had, yeah, must sign an assignment agreement. Outer curve. Example assignment agreement. There's one. Oh, bummer. Oh. Oh, where did that go? <laughs> oh, it's outer curve that doesn't have it. Oh. oh, well... Wait, is Eric here today? Where's Eric? <laughs> yeah, this URL should have one of those. That's um, funny. Um, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go ping them, John, because that's, that's supposed to be there. Yeah, that right there, the example assignment agreement. That's what you're asking for. Sure, we have one of those. It's 404 right now. Um, not particularly helpful. All right, uh, yeah, so that, that's what you're looking for. Um, I guess we're on to this. Anything else? Anything else out there? Sean and I are going through features, and every once I get Bob to come out and bang through a binder thing. Yeah, I, I, I've taken a look at your second batch of changes, and I was somehow expecting them to be smaller than the first, but yeah, the, the scroll yeah. bar thumb on the on the review window is saying maybe not. Yeah, no, the the next batch gets smaller. Keep saying that, and eventually, I suppose it'll be true. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm. Uh, it's small if you ignore the deleted files. So yeah, you know, that pull request is actually a pull request where I think it's more interesting, instead of looking at the overall diff, to look at the diff of each thing chain, each of the little diffs inside the list. Um, that's not always true, but in this case, I think it's true. Yay, Jacob has found the correct URL, so um, we'll, I'll go ahead and get that added to the website, so that'll get updated. Um, but yeah, so on that pull request, Bob, I think it's easier if you like go through each pull request item in it and look at it one by one. You're like, oh, okay, that's small. Oh, that's small. Well, that's small. It's a it's a bunch of small things that are not they don't necessarily build on top of each other massively. Unlike sorry, are you one. talking about each commit? Yes, each commit inside Can the pull. Can you do that? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. It's a much easier way of going through the changes for that particular change. Uh, so Jacob has found the URL that was missing to the example assignment agreement, which is awesome. Um, anybody got anything else going on? Jacob does not seem happy. He's pulling out the grumpy cat. Uh, oh, it's missing the appendix section, so they need to update that outer curve foundation assignment agreement. All right. All right. So we need to have them. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, so Jacob's bring, pointing out that there was an A and a B up, uh, appendix to the outer curve assignment agreement, and there were, I don't know if, were those for only the updated ones because they updated it twice that they had to have the appendix, and therefore they can have a clean assignment agreement, or is it that they just didn't update the assignment agreement? Either way, I will ask them. Um, Eric has been good. He'll go find us a real thing, put it up there. It's just a PDF, so that'll be good. Um, and John is unblocked, so we're rolling. All right. After all that wondering, dude, this is like a 15-minute meeting, which actually is pretty nice just because everything's rolling, um, unless anybody's got anything else going on they want to discuss. Anything? Anything? Going, going... Gone. All right. Um, oh, John just started typing. Is it too late? Did we sell the auction? Whatever that is. Um, close the auction. Sell the auction. You don't sell the auction. You sell things at an auction. That's right. Uh, yes. All right. Cool. So let's call it at that. You guys have a wonderful um, rest of your afternoon, evening week, whatever's left of it. Uh, we'll be back here next week looking for more bugs. Um, feeling pretty good about that 3.9 release. Um, feeling a little bit better about that 4.0 uh, moving. 
um, would love to see more people contributing if they're going to be doing that. So let's go do that. In other news, uh, i see you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye.